So he's the German wonder kid that has taken the footballing world by storm at only 14 years of age and is touted to be the next big thing for Bundesliga heavyweights Borussia Dortmund. It's the one and only Yusuf Mukoko. The young striker is currently tearing it up in the BVB Youth Academy at under 16, under 17 and most recently at under 19 level, impressing everyone by scoring 6 goals on his debut match in a 9-2 win. After the back of scoring a record 46 goals in the under 17 Bundesliga He's set to have a brilliant season this year and there's no sign of the lad slowing down anytime soon Although the teenage sensation is turning heads across Europe He'll be forced to wait a little longer until he makes his full professional debut for the yellow wall So in today's video, we've added the promising youngster into FIFA 19 career mode Bringing back the growth test bangers to the channel Kicking things off today with one of the most highly requested wonder kids down there in the comments So make sure to comment down below what wonder kid we should put into career mode next Done the likes of Karamoka Dembele, Chad Javi Simmons, Harvey Elliott, Rodrigo, and the list goes on and on. So here he is in all his glory, and it isn't a growth test video without a few complications we've had to deal with along the way. Yusofa Mukoko is of Cameroonian descent, was born in Yuende, Cameroon, moved to Germany at a very young age, and has decided to represent Germany at youth international level. Has played for Germany, has picked Germany in the youth system, so I assume he's going to be representing Germany one day in the future once he gets caught up to the senior national team and not Cameroon. So for the purpose of this video, we've put him down as German and literally everywhere online says he's German. So we're sticking with that. So with that out of the way, another major complication we had to deal with was his birthday. Mukoko was actually born in 2004, which is just insane to even think about. He's the youngest one kid we've ever put into FIFA 19 right now. We've had to put him at 2002 because that's the furthest year we can go. Birthday is in fact the 20th of November. So that is spot on. Once we put him into career mode, he will be 50. He's turning 15 in three months time So this will be a little look ahead into the future to see how he'll perform his kit number is 18 We've just put it at that, but I've seen him at number 10 I've seen him at number 9 even we might change it along the simulation along the seasons because Makoko definitely grow into this team and might even become a marquee player So he could earn that number 10 number later down the line However, 18 is what we're gonna put him at now. He is a forward slash center forward He can play on the left wing right wing, but his main position is center forward. He's a striker. He's a goal getter his goal scorer we all know the creation center you can't create someone that is a center forward unfortunately however that might be changing in fifa 20 so these growth tests and play creations could become a different kind of beast with the new fifa 20 customization system the new avatar creator keep your eyes peeled on when these return for fifa 20 because they could go to a new level once fifa 20 releases but this is what we're going for we try to create him as realistic as possible his real height is five foot six of course he still is 14 so there's time to grow obviously however that will be his height in today's video. I've guessed his weight in there, 143 pounds. He's an average body type, and we're going for that little haircut. He's got the little fade. He's got the fade going on. There aren't any current haircuts that represent that. Like I said, hopefully in FIFA 20, the customization system looks brilliant. There could just be so many possibilities we could create and explore in FIFA 20. His outfitter is Nike, so we've hooked him up with some fresh Nike boots. The red on white, the right on red. I don't know what to call them, but yeah, we've got a fresh pair of Nike boots for him. So I think that does it for Yusofa Mukoko in the play creation center. We're going to take a deep dive into his stats and put him into the Borussia Dortmund first team in career mode. All right, so here is the German in career mode and as promised, he is 15, but we'll be turning 16 this season. I've tried to keep it as realistic as possible because we can't create anyone under the age of 15 as he won't be in FIFA for quite a few years. We're going to have to wait to see him added into FIFA. He's not going to be in FIFA 20. Not sure about FIFA 21. We're just going to have to wait and see with Mukoko. The German striker has potential to be special. We've set him at a 67 overall. Not too high, not too low. Probably like just at that middle range. I feel like that's a fair number. We haven't gone too high. We haven't gone too low. Just right in the middle, I think. But we all know how famous Borussia Dortmund are producing young talent, producing young players and turning them into stars. So I'm sure that he will fit in perfectly here at Borussia Dortmund and he can grow and develop his career if he chooses to stay with the German Giants. However, we're going to move on to his in-depth stats as you can see here he's got four star skill moves four star weak foot so very balanced from him he's a left footed player so his preferred foot is his left however his right won't be too bad either at four star weak foot he's got medium medium work rates we move on into his physical and mental stats and this is where it's it's pretty decent for a 15 year old 73 acceleration
Acceleration, 72 Agility, and 74 Balance are his main stats there. Obviously, the ones that kind of let him down is 61 Stamina, the Aggression, the Composure. Obviously, not going to be too high at such a young age, but that can always grow and develop into the current season. 67 Strength, as we're going to move on to his Technicals. As you can see here, 71 Dribbling, 71 Shot Power are his main green stats right now. He is a center forward. He is a striker. He's a poacher in the box. So he's finishing ball control curve. They're all important attributes. I hope to see them go up. 55 penalties is something he could look to improve as well. And 66 volleys for him. I feel like they're pretty decent stats right now for 15 year old. He does have the potential to be special. So we're going to see some exponential growth. Let's cross our fingers and hope he could break into this first team as soon as possible. Valued at 1.7 million pounds already. 20k a week. So let's see how Borussia Dortmund nurture him and try and develop the young German's career. This is how the team will be lining up with Mukoko leading the line, obviously, right up top. He's going to be all alone with Guerrero, Sancho, and Royce. I think Mukoko can strive in this Borussia Dortmund team. However many years it'll take, that is what we will be finding out in today's video. So we're going to be simulating ahead to analyze how Mukoko's first season in the Borussia Dortmund senior team will go. First ever professional Bundesliga season. I don't know what to expect from this first season. Mukoko, good luck. And I'll see you at the end of season one. So in his first full professional season at Borussia Dortmund, you saw for Mukoko now 16 years of age, still has potential to be special. He's very happy at the club. Although his form is okay, he only grew plus two overalls this season, up to a 69 overall. So he will probably crack the 70s in season number two. We're gonna focus our attention towards his stats this season. And he only got 11 appearances with one goal to show for it. He was able to net once either off the bench or start in one way or another, make an appearance for BVB there. However, slow and steady start. We're going to move on to his attributes and see what stats went up. And in the physicals and mentals, only reactions by plus one. I'm assuming the technicals, not too much. So it hasn't been too much of a crazy start here. Ball control, a plus four. Long shots, a plus six, which is a big one. That's probably now his highest rated stat. Plus six to long shots, making it 74. But plus two to finishing, which is good to see. Plus six to volleys. Some important stats going up here, but nothing too crazy, nothing too to exponential just I guess slow and steady growth at the end of the day we're gonna move on he's now worth two million pounds going up 17% you can't fault him adjusting to life at Signal Uzuna Park at 16 years of age but with a twist in season one we're gonna throw him straight into the starting 11 up top alongside Marco Roy 69 overall he's got a DFB Pokal final which we're gonna simulate I'm not expecting too much out of this just some experience a little baptism of fire for the young German let's see how he does up top the number 18 uh, we'll just chuck him in there. We'll see how he does. We've got a big game and we're going to simulate it. Royce equalized there. However, they lose 4-3 on penalties, which is unfortunate. Mukoko doesn't get his hands on silverware in his first season. Move on to season number two and see how Mukoko develops in this side. See if he gets a bit more game time as there was not really any success in the Bundesliga finishing in third. Bayern win the title and the DFB Pokal. Leverkusen on one point ahead of Dortmund. We're going to have to wait and see how Mukoko does in his second ever season. Season. So it's slight improvement from the debut season. In season two, Yusofa Mukoko, now 17 years of age, has grown plus four in his overall. Like I said, he's cracked the 70s. He is now a 73 overall. He's very happy at the club. He's got some good form. So it shows that he has improved this season. He is still a prospect and has potential to be special now. We go into his stats and it's, it's improvement nonetheless. I'm happy to see those numbers. 15 appearances for the club and three goals to show for it. That is very decent. Three in the Bundesliga too. I guess he's showing some signs of promise here to be their starting striker as we go towards his stats. We're going to move on into the physicals and mentals. More going up than last season. Stamina up by one, strength up by three. Both jumping, agility, and aggression take a plus one, two. And we move on to the technicals. And now we start to see some decent growth going on here. Ball control at an 81. Long shots now, his best attribute, plus nine. And literally, unlike last season, everything in the technicals have gone up. Plus seven to volleys, plus three to finishing, plus nine to short pass, and plus four to shot power. So the 17-year-old has settled into life here at Borussia Dortmund. He's had a decent little season under his belt now with two years of experience. He's now worth seven. 7.5 million pounds, a plus 275% upon last season, 12k a week. And just like last year, we got another German Cup final to look forward to. That is how the side will be lining up. They're going to face Holm Cologne in the final, not Bayern Munich. Uh, so he has another chance in a Cup final 
another baptism of fire. We're putting him straight into the starting 11. Marco Royce gets a penalty. We're going to skip it. And they win 5-4 on penalties. Mukoko, I'm not sure if he had anything to do with our two goals, but he might have scored a penalty in there and has won his first piece of silverware in his career with the German Cup. And it was so close, but so far to pipping Bayern Munich to that first place position in the Bundesliga. Unfortunately, they weren't able to win the league. Two points behind Bayern Munich. Unfortunately, Makoko couldn't do the German domestic double. So improvements are showing. Dortmund seems to be a good home for the youngster. And I'm sure with a bit more time under his belt, he can take his stats, his game time, and his achievements to a brand new level in Season 3. So there's no DFB Pokal final this season, but it's another third place finish. This time Wolfsburg win the league with 68 points. Bayern in second with 66. And we're sitting pretty in third with 63 points, qualifying for the Champions League next year. And Mukoko's Champions League run was short-lived with a 3-1 defeat to Manchester City in the round of 16. So there wasn't much tournament luck. Let's see if there was some more individual personal growth for Mr. Yusofa Mukoko, now 18 years of age. Potential to be special still. And back-to-back -back seasons, two in a row, he's grown plus four. So now he's a 77 rating. Any stats, he hasn't scored a goal this season. He's still getting a few appearances here and there. And not even delivering in the appearances he's actually showcasing. So guess he put the hard yards in training he put a shift in to help increase his attributes and that is what we're going to take a look at now with pretty much most of his physicals going up stamina up by one sprint speed up by two a lot of minimal incremental growth going on especially in the mentals as well attack positioning and reactions and then technicals like usual going all up besides slide tackling which he doesn't really need anyway finishing heading accuracy long shots at a 90 i don't know what's with this kid and long shots but ball control at an 88 two volleys up by 10 now going up to an 89 this is crazy stuff technically he's looking absolutely amazing it's the physicals and mentals that could need a little bit of improvement third season in and now he's valued at 18 million pounds 140 percent increase upon last season he's got a lot of striker competition here with philip alsacer and alexander isaac there's a lot of healthy competition for him it should be good it should push him to reach that next level in his career let's see if he can do that in season four so we're four seasons deep into the simulation may 2022 and we Coco finishes up in fourth position in the Bundesliga, 62 points, just qualifying for the Champions League. And it's Leverkusen taking out the title. Still no luck in the Champions League as we got knocked out against the Gunners, 3-1 on aggregate. And Mukoko's had a pretty stock standard season, 19 years of age now. He's still a prospect in the side, although he's grown a plus three in his overall. He's hit that 80 mark and still has potential to be special. He's very happy at the club, although his form doesn't really match up to it, though. He's going to have to fight for his spot in the team. His stats have been pretty borderline this season, pretty much the same as all the other seasons that have gone by 15 appearances this time two goals to show for it and we move on to his attributes what has grown we got sprint speed stamina going up which is good to see strength as well aggression with a plus two and the technicals yet again or going up long shots at a 99 so his first 99 stat is long shots one which i wouldn't have guessed though ball control at a 93 dribbling at an 88 shot power and short passing both in the dark greens and volleys at a 94 i can't wait to use this guy in game he's gonna be absolutely sick up front but for now though still a lot of growth and development to be done here in Germany he is now valued at 28 million pounds on the transfer market a plus 55 percent increase we might as well renew his contract right here bump him up got him on 40k a week now he is loving life here with a four-year extension on his contract I'm keen to see what he can achieve in season five can he cement a place in the starting 11 let's go ahead and find out so with season five on the horizon for Mukoko it's another runners-up Bundesliga campaign as Bayer Leverkusen take out the title by three points Wolfsburg and Bayern Munich finish off in the top four and it's so close but so far yet again for Borussia Dortmund no cup final this year and in the Champions League they finished in second in Group G and then in the round of 16 were they able to get past no a 5-0 hammering on aggregate to Atletico Madrid but we're going to take a look at the Germans growth overall has he finally made that step up and as you can see another plus four season another decent amount of growth there four overalls plus four to his overall making him now 84 rated at 20 years of age still has potential to be special he's very happy here in Dortmund and his form is okay so we're going to move on to his stats and looks like he's pulling in numbers this season 34 appearances which is what you want to see the 20 year old now bagging six goals in his fifth season here in Germany and those are the type of numbers we want to see here season in season out so we're going to move on to his attributes and as you can see, his physicals have gone up pretty well. Strength is up, sprint speed a plus six, and acceleration and agility.
agility going up there as well. The technicals are looking juicy right now. 99 ball control. You already know about the 99 volleys. 96 shot power, 99 long shots, and 96 dribbling. He is improving in that department absolutely wonderfully. He's now worth 60.5 million pounds, a plus 116% on last season. We'll see how long it takes him to crack that 100 million pound valuation. If he gets a few more seasons under his belt like that, we're going to probably be seeing some success. So let's see in season number six if he can break some records. So it's been six seasons. Makoko and the lads have taken their time. With 69 points, Dortmund take out the league there. They become German champion for the first time in this simulation Leipzig Wolfsburg and Bayern finish off the top four and in the Champions League though it's a bit of improvement they got past the round of 16 however the battering against Barcelona 6-1 on aggregate so it was a bit of German success it was a bit of domestic success for Mukoko now going to take a look at his overall and it's another consistent season this season it's a plus three still has potential to be special very happy and is in good form which is what you want to see from the lad 32 games and six goals pretty much similar to last season he got 34 games and six goals last season he's been consistent we can't complain about that there hasn't been a season where he's just absolutely destroyed everything he's he's been nice and consistent throughout the years and it's shown as he's now 21 years of age 87 overall take a look at his stats however sprint speed has gone up to 84 a plus four there a plus four to strength as well acceleration and agility could do with a bit of improvement but there's still time in that now he's got 99 dribbling 99 shot power and 99 long shots this guy's going to be lethal in game once we get to play with him the technicals are looking as beautiful as ever not all the stats going up though but i mean can you blame him can he hit that 90 overall in season seven that'll be the big question mark 79.5 million a plus 31 percent on his valuation and that is how the side is looking going into season seven makoko do it can he become a club legend here at bruce dortmund can he hit that 90 when will he hit that 100 million valuation let's see what he can pull off in season seven so i think lucky number seven is paying off for us here as we've entered the seventh season and this might be the most successful season ever. I'm not going to jinx it too early, but we win the Bundesliga back-to-back. -back. Mukoku gets his hands on the league title for the second time in his career. And then we simulate to the end of the season. And then we have a cup final, the DFB Pokal, which we've now entered three times. And we look ahead to the Champions League and look what we have waiting for us. It's Borussia Dortmund taking on Real Madrid. Can he get Borussia Dortmund the treble? That would be a big ask, but... The Wonder Kid, you can't put it past him at this point. May 2025 could be his time to shine. They finish on top of Group H with Milan, and then they beat Napoli in the round of 16, winning against Manchester City 3-2 on aggregate, and then beating Juventus 2-1 on aggregate. So what a Champions League campaign from Dortmund and Mukoko before we get into those two games. We're going to play the Champions League final. We're going to simulate the German Cup final. Oh, no. No. Drama. Drama. Are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't even know. I've just been pranked. I've just been pranked. Mukoko's out for four months. And we have the two biggest games of his career on the line. You can't write it. You can't write scripts like these. The German 22-year-old has picked up a big boy four-month injury with a broken tibia. What timing. What timing. Plus two to his overall, though. He's now at an 89, but... That stuff's heartbreaking. He hasn't cracked the 90s this season, and it's probably because of that big injury there. That's cut me real deep there. However, we look into his stats, and he's picked up 30 games, 21 goals. A massive improvement there. So you can now see he's entering that new level. He's entering new territory, scoring 11 goals in the Champions League too. So he's proving himself not only domestically, but continentally too. We'll take a look at his stats now. Sprint speed up to a 90. Strength at an 84. Stamina decent at 70. We also take a glance at the technicals. Short passing is now at a 99. Finishing and heading accuracy now in the 90s. And those technicals are looking juicy however i was so keen to play a game hitting that 100 mil valuation which he's so close to now at 95.5 we're just going to change his number to number 10 because i believe no one is occupying it so we'll give it to the main man up top now 22 years of age so without mukoko dortmund lose the dfb poker final 2-1 to frankfurt now the big one are they european champions without him though have they redeemed themselves and they win 4-3 on penalties so mukoko did get the chance to get his hands on the trophy he didn't play in the final go again in season eight and see how the german does in his eighth season so eight years in and the boys have done the three peep move 
Mukoko, back to back to back German champions in the league, Bundesliga winners with another exceptional domestic season. There was no DFE Pokal success though, a round two elimination there. Look what the boys have gotten themselves into here. Mukoko gets a chance of redemption. Can they get back to back Champions League trophies? They won last year without Mukoko, now with him. Not injured, I can confirm. So they'll be that much stronger in 2026 up against Liverpool. We've got a big European final ahead of us. But before we get into it and play our first game with Mukoko, we're going to get into his growth this season. And in his eighth season now, 23 years of age, he has cracked the 90s with a plus two overall growth. He's one of the world's best. Very happy here. And his form is good. So we'll move on to his stats. 32 games in there, 14 goals and two assists. I'm not sure if he picked up any minor little injuries or suspensions this season. Nevertheless, Yusofa Mukoko with a decent season, a pretty nice season in there with 14 goals and 2 assists as we move down to his attributes. And this is where we get to see his final stats before we get into the match. 93 sprint speed, we can look forward to 88 strength, 86 acceleration, 94 finishing now with 76 penalties, a lot of dark greens, a lot of greens, plus 21% increase than last season, $116.5 million valuation. Hopefully he can prove that to the world in the Champions League final. This is how the team will be lining up. So we'll be looking forward to see if the striker can lead the line against Liverpool eight seasons down the line. This could well and truly be the future of Borussia Dortmund, so let's get straight into this match. Alright, so here we are. Wembley is the venue for this big occasion. Will Yusuf Mukoko be the man for the big occasion? That is the question we'll be answering with this match. It's a career-defining match for the captain. Can he get his hands on the trophy? Can he make it out of yellow and black ribbons? We're going to have to find out, but that was our road to the Champions League final. 3-1 win against Barca, 3-1 win against Valencia, and a 3-2 win against Arsenal. So very close, very clutch victories from the lads. Now it's time to go and get the result. Come and get this win against the Reds in the final. Let's go out and do it. Come on, you Sofa. Coco will win it back. It's a captain's effort this from the German We'll get an over the top through ball, but Van Dyke every day of the week will get to that. Here we go. Valverde. You'll see the run of Mukoko. A bit too late though. We'll offload it to Goretzka. A little one two with the German. The German connection here. will take the strike on the left foot. Koko, nice little play here. Goretzka, back to Mukoko. Nice little one two. He'll give it off to Sancho. Sancho will put it over the top here. Mukoko was lurking. He's only got 68 for a kick accuracy. Can we make something of it? We'll give it off to Sancho maybe. We'll pass it back. Makoko, he'll have another bite at the cherry, but it goes straight into the wall. Oh, nice little play here, Makoko. Makoko will find Vinicius Jr., the Brazilian, with a darting little attacking run, and Allison stops it. And then Makoko with the follow up. All right, we showed some positive signs there. Makoko definitely displaying a few qualities of leadership, but a lot of improvements need to be done in this second 45. We want to win that trophy. Here we go. Makoko will kick us off for this second half. Let's get it underway. Kick off. He can't be that audacious. He sneaks through. Can he chip the Brazilian? It's going to go in. No, it's just missed. Oh, that could have been a great start to the second half for the captain. How sneaky of him to sneak behind the defense and try that. But it's the weaker right foot that gets to it by the end of the day to get this goal lead. Goretzka will slip it through again. He deserves a goal and he'll get a goal. The captain, the number 10, the wonder kid of the day. Yusufa Mukoko, the German finally gets his UCL final goal and that makes up for lost time last year after his injury to miss out on the final. The Borussia Dortmund fans going absolutely mental. He's one of their own homegrown talent and it's an elegant finish from the number 10 leading by example. Allison finally beaten and we break the deadlock here. 1-0 to Mukoko's men. Mukoko again. You'll see Sancho running down this right hand side. The Englishman has got bags of pace this man. Can you do a little one-two with the German? He'll get it back. It's Vinicius Jr. and Allison with a big save. Gives it off to the left-hand side. Vinicius Jr. He could provide a nice little ball in there. He'll give it off to Guerrero. Nice little build-up here. Nice little tiki-taka. The German football is in full effect here. And it's going to be Mukoko with his second. And surely that puts us in a comfortable lead in the Champions League final. This man has just sprung into life in this second half. And what a game he is having the number 10. Deserve it of that number. And the captain's armband there. Slips it past Allison in net. And he shows up for the big game here at Wembley. He's a big game player, Yusofa. And at 23 years of age, he could be lifting up that trophy. A weak foot shot too. He's a left footer player 
and he tucks it home by the right hand post. What a man, what a legend, Yusufa Mukoko. Try to find a bit of space here. The German, surely. Oh, that is brilliance there. A piece of individual brilliance. He'll cut it back in. Oh, that could have been the hat trick there. And that, in fact, is full time. It's a Mukoko double in the final to guide Borussia Dortmund to the Champions League. What a game, what a leader. And eight years into the future, Mukoko wins the Champions League for Dortmund. It's it's what dreams are made of. It's what you love to see. You love to see it. Mission accomplished. He got the job done here at Wembley. And I'm very keen to see this man added into FIFA one year down the line. However many years it will take to see the German youngster at Borussia Dortmund in FIFA career mode. But now we can only dream, we can only imagine. And this might be a look into the future for Dortmund and their youngster. There we go. He's lifted the trophy. Champions of Europe. Champions of the world. It's an incredible feeling. Soak it in, son. I'm sure there'll be many more trophies to come for the lad. All right, so that about wraps it up for the Mukoko growth test video. I'm sure he could go leaps and bounds beyond what we've got him to right now. At a 91, the captain of the side. And we are, what, eight seasons into career mode now. And it's just the start of his career, really. He's only still 23 years of age. It's insane to see how young Mukoko is. He's already one of the best in the world. And, you know, I'm sure another two, three seasons, he could easily be 95 plus to the youngster with a bright, bright future ahead of him. Guys, I've absolutely had a blast recording this growth test video. Make sure to comment down below what Wonder Kid we should include in the next growth test. I'm thinking maybe Hannibal Bedry, the new guy that signed for Manchester United. We're going to bring back these growth tests for FIFA 20 as well. It is going to be absolutely insane. I'm keen. I'm very pumped to see what we can do with these in FIFA 20 as well. It's been an absolutely amazing growth test. I highly requested one at that. So if you did go ahead and enjoy it, make sure to smack the like button if you want to see more growth tests hit that big red subscribe button down below it helps the channel out also turn on post notifications so you never miss a video when it gets uploaded to the channel follow me on twitter the link is in the description i've been bchd thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the very next video